Chairman, and I think it's clear that there is far more demand uh, to speak in this debate than there is time, uh, yeah, so I will yeah, of course yeah. be brief, but I think it does show uh, that we absolutely need a longer de debate. We need a debate on the floor of the House. Uh, it's not just members in this room who want to speak, but members of the public have shown uh, enormous interest. I don't want to go over the excellent points that have already been made, uh, the data that's already been shared. We know we have a problem with excess deaths in this country, particularly amongst younger people, particularly cardiovascular disease, and that in itself uh, is, a, is a huge challenge, and we need medical experts, we need statisticians to address those issues. Uh, I'm not qualified to do so. What I will say is this, lockdown changed everything. Our response to COVID changed everything. And just as we look back on different periods of history, before the war, before the Industrial Revolution, I think in future we will look back before and after lockdown. Uh, lockdown's changed our economy. It's changed how we relate to each other. It's changed our health. It's changed our understanding of children's development. Uh, but the conditions under which those decisions were made, decisions which were overwhelmingly wrong, in my opinion, though I absolutely do not blame any individuals for, given the pressure they were under, but the conditions under which those decisions were made have not changed. The conditions under which we uh, suspended the precautionary principle, where we ignored the fact that the interventions may cause more harm. We suspended the importance of children's education. We suspended safeguarding children. We suspended, uh, suspended the need for medical trials. We suspended all sorts of safeguards that have stood society in good stead uh, for a long time. And the conditions in government and in the media and in wider society under which those decisions were made have not changed. Because, unfortunately yet, we have not got to the heart of the matter of why the, why the pressure came from the media, why we had to follow what other countries were doing, why we obsessed with, minor, with particular points of data like deaths from COVID rather than considering the wider impacts on society. And my concern about the COVID inquiry is asking all the wrong questions. It's, yeah, yeah. it's concerned with who swore at who on WhatsApp and not the wider conditions around what, why these decisions was ma were made. And I remember as a mother at the time when... Um, the former, former, former Secretary of State for Education, several education secretaries ago, stood up in the House of Commons and said that he would close schools. And I remember shouting at the television, don't do it, don't do it, because I could see the impact that it would have, not just on my own children, but on all the wider components of society. Society is like a big machine. You can't just take out one part and assume that the rest will continue to operate. We have seen that clearly over the last three years. We must address the reasons that the decisions were made. We can't do that in three minutes each. We must have a longer debate. Thank you.